Hello friends, we're gonna let you know about the CloudFront. CloudFront is a CDN, it's a global content delivery network which allow us to deliver the content from the origin to the edge location. An origin is a source location from where the file is coming from. And an edge location is physically placed all around the world by the Amazon. So an edge location allow us to caching our files from the source location to the edge location. An edge location store the caching version of the files. Let's take an example. CloudFront using the two things, the source and another one is the edge location. So in the source we can use the S3 and the ELB as a source. So in this example we can go and use S3 as a source. Let's come in the S3 and inside the techhertz.com bucket. Inside this we can uh, go to upload a static content that can be requested by the user and, and it can be delivered from the source S3 to the edge location when we can configure the cloud front. Now our file is uploaded. Let's take an example. Let's take an example when we have not configured a cloud front. So what will be happen? If a request uh, so we have an S3 bucket and in S3 bucket we have a static contents. It may be an image, it may be a PDF file. So if a user requests for a static file, it may be a PDF file and from an Indian region, a user requests for the same file, then the request goes to the S3 directly. And another user from the another region requests for the same file, then every request directly goes to the S3. So in between them, the uh, cover the distance there may be a network latency to face a network latency and it's also having a, some performance issue if we use directly if we need to deliver the content directly from the s3 uh, it may be the s3 may be in the singapore region and the user in the another region so it will it consumes a lot of the tra traffic and it takes uh, network latency also so let's take an example where we uh, we have set up a cloud fund so cloud fund is in almost every region every zone and apart from the zone also like if we talk about the india a user from a delhi can request then we also have an edge location in delhi region and in mumbai also so if a user requests from one region then the request goes to the nearest edge location so nearest edge location it may be the a user from the us then it goes to the nearest edge location in the us region and first user request for the file that is not exist that is not stored as in cache form inside the cloud front so if the requested content is not stored in the cloud uh, cloud front as location then it deliver the request to the s3 origin location source location and then the requested data can be transferred from the cloud front from the source location to the cloud front as location and from the as location the data can be delivered to the user and this file that can be delivered to the user is stored as a cache version inside the edge location take a second example when the cache version is stored in the edge location then what will happen then the same user requested for the same file this is the example the end user request content the requested routed to the most optimal edge location the request goes to the nearest edge location same as location where we have our edge location store the cache version of the image it check the edge location having the cache version of that image yeah, this time it find the cache version. It deliver the content from this as location and user. So this time it don't need to go to the S3 as location because because data is stored in the here as location. Uh, the user don't face any network uh, performance issues and any network latencies. So uh, configuring the cloud front, we need a origin. We need a source origin where we can put our source file. So this is uh, we can consider s3 as an our uh, source file as an origin where we can put the source file and we can consider this techhertz.com bucket as in so our source file we have put an aws training.pdf file Let's configure the cloud front uh, cloud front comes the network here the cloud front when we click on the cloud front we can see the uh, this type of screens then uh, create distributions so we have two type of distributions one is the rtmp and another one is the web rtmp is used for the streaming media files it don't need any other players so we go for with the web the web distribution if you want to let's create it let's give any origin domain name origin domain name origin may be an s3 bucket and it may be an elastic load balancer so still we have not configured an elastic load balancer so it's not shows there so let's uh, i'm going to select techhertz.com as an origin 
So here is another option restrict bucket access. If we click it as a right, uh, yes, then it restrict directly access of on the S3. Then we can access the files from the cloud front. Let's come path pattern. If inside our bucket in the folders we have, then we can pass the folder name and then the uh, slash star. The viewer protocol policy. It may be an HTTP and HTTPS. Allowed HTTP method. If we use to put post, it means to put or download or delete the files, then we can choose that. Now we can go to with the get and get head. The same thing, cached HTTP cache methods, get head. We can left all of the things as fault. Here is the restrict viewer access. We can use this and we need to deliver our private files. We have left all the things as default. Come on the distribution settings in the prime class. We have different price classes. I want to use the as location in the US, Canada, and Europe only, in the, uh, or we use the as location in the US, Canada, Europe, and Asia. And if we want to use the all the as location, it gives the best performance. It can be happen when it create as location. It means it create the as location in multi geographical regions. The high performance and it copy all of the data from the S3 into the as location so that user can get the cache version when it request on the second time alternate domain name it may be any uh, any alias name or any name like i'm going with this name cdn.techhards.com and mark all of the things as left ssl certificate if uh, we want to go with the custom ssl certificate then we can do it for the default root object uh, like if we deploy uh, our any static website then we can pass here as the root object it may be an index.html uh, mark all the things as old left all the things as default click on the dis create distribution it may take up to 15 to 20 minutes so let's wait Treatise is in progress when it will be uh, distributed or deployed then we can go ahead now as we see the status is deployed now click on the id now we need to create a record set so that a request is coming on this will be the redirected this cloud front domain name let's come under the route 53 we have an hosted zone it's a techhard.com inside this let's click on the create record set give the name as cdn.techhards.com and, and the alias yes enter the record set as we see it's shown as cloud fund distribution cdn.techhard.com now let's click on the create now it's take up to two minutes to really reload all the configuration changes if we know about, if we know go for the route 53 then the domain name should be work will provide we use the bucket as techhards.com and inside the bucket we have a ew siphon training dot it shows some error code it means we have to make it public now we have make it public make the pdf file as a public now this should be work yeah now the file is opened so as we use the alias name it's a cdn.tackards.com and slash the file name which we want to take it so the request goes first goes to the cloud front and then from the cloud front it get the file this so now our cloud front is working as we see that we don't use any s3 link so if we go for the s3 uh, if you want to access the file from there directly from the s3 then we need to use it but we have not used this link we use the cdn.tackers.com or directly the cloud front domain name to access this if you're talking about the our cloud front so we have multiple things like we have the gen, uh, general in the distribution if we come here if we select this or click on the id then we have the multiple things it's a cdn.tackers.com then the alternate name of the c name of the or cloud front distribution domain name here is a directly domain name for, for for this domain name we can access our files here are the origin the origin name uh, origin is the source from where the file can be delivered into the edge location so these are the origin it's over it's a name of a tacker.com is the bucket name of the inside the s3 image.com if we want to add more origin then we go to the added and uh, no, uh, sorry if we restrict bucket access the then we can click on the yes and click on the yes bu update bucket policy it means it provide the read access 
means uh, it provide the read access on the bucket policy we have two type of policies object policies and the bucket policies then on the bucket policy it can provide the read access we click uh, click on the yes add it then i'm going to cancel it apart from that if you want to add new origin then we uh, can create origin and we can use more than multi, uh, one or uh, as an origin so here is the behavior behavior means which path it follows like star means inside the bucket inside the origin it access it allow to access all of the objects inside the s3 uh, tackers.com inside the bucket we have a cache statics inside this in the cache statics it shows all of the things like how many requests we have done how many hits we have done so here are the hits total hits misses and error hit means we have hit and misses means it find it in the cache how many total bytes have has been transferred http status code and monitoring and alarms inside the monitoring alarms it shows great granularity one minute any one day five minute any five day period or one hour basis so here we can see the uh, how uh, how uh, the request graphs move up and down it's not uh, the till uh, not th the graph of this request actually we uh, configured the same thing previously also so the graph is combined data transfer error rate and the popular object popular object means which file we have access more so popular objects aws hyphen training hyphen dot pdf so we have access for 15 times and top reference like means from where the files is coming and we also have a users and the uh, viewers this is means how much number of http requests we have get a number of https requests we got data transferred by protocol data transferred by destination and all of the things and inside the viewer we got the analytics things like from which device actually we have use only one device if multiple users access it from uh, from multiple devices like some on the desktop some on the android some on the uh, tablet then it shows multiple things there so it shows on the desktop because we have only used uh, it through the desktop and it shows here multiple browsers like chrome browser mozilla firefox and the safari that is used in the mac we have used only the firefox so that's why it shows only the firefox and the operating system it may be a mac it may be linux and windows so we use this inside the windows so it shows the windows locations from which country we have access it so it shows the india and it maybe shows another location so it shows the india right here are the things we have uh, take a uh, take a look how cloud fund is working so we need origin and we need to add, create the as location distributions so in origin we use the s3 and create a bucket inside the s3 and put over uh, so in s3 work as an origin to put the content inside it so we have put the aws training.pdf so uh, if we don't use the cloud fund directly so we can use the direct link to access the files but through the cloud fund we can get the files through the edge location near the nearby the edge location suppose uh, over s3 is in the singapore region and we want to access the file from the delhi location so uh, in delhi we also have an edge location so the file can be stored on the edge location as the as in cache version and if uh, after some time or again if we request for the same file then our request serve from the as location so uh, we don't face any network latency or it takes uh, high performance and we get the file pretty fast so most of the companies like fb youtube the flipkart all of the all of the com e-commerce company uses the cloud front to get their images very fast so all of the e-commerce companies use the cloud front thanks for the today classes so if you like it so please like subscribe and share it so please don't forget to subscribe like and subscribe thanks for today have a good day